Alrighty, welcome back. And what you see before you is a massive Beyblade Gone Rogue, otherwise known as the Ruined Serpent, as you can see here. Now, 10 seconds before you even start the video, make sure you understand this little gadget right here is mandatory. Do you hear me? Mandatory. Unless if you have a massive tank shield unit, but most people don't have that. So anyway, the reason why I say this is mandatory is because this allows you to clean things otherwise known as wiping out the goop. It needs to be at least level 2 in order to do that. Otherwise, level 1 and level 0, it will say that it's just to reach potential or something, and you cannot do this. So, this allows you to clean up the goop that it spawns during a certain phase of this fight, and this allows you to actually put it into a stun phase where you're able to damage it with someone like, say, Noel, Shaoling, Traveler, whatever you want. Uh, if you don't, and you allow it to accumulate the energy, uh, it will actually be able to power up and do a very big attack against you, and let's just say, let's not let that happen, okay? So anyway, before we get started, please understand, I am world level 8, so this boss is the hardest it's going to be, for, at least until they raise the level cap. So it's going to be like level 94 or something. And it will do a maximum amount of damage to me. So, chances are if you're level 45 or, you know, AR 40 or maybe even AR 50, it won't be as difficult, assuming that your characters are somewhat reasonably built for that adventure rank. Alright, let's look at our gear real quick. So when it comes to this fight, most of the damage is going to be coming from Traveler and Noel. However, Amber can be used to pick off some damage when it's out of range, and Shaoling is here for, again, double power bonus. So you get a flat 25% attack bonus. And of course, double Geo with Traveler and Noel, because it also gives you extra damage for having a shield on, which is good. And so, when it comes to the actual fight, most of the time you're going to be dodging some attacks and then once you get it to a stunned state you're able to whack at it with either noel or traveler in any case traveler is using four piece noblesse but you can use whatever you want noel is using four piece gladiator but considering that a, a new set came out which is the husk of opulent dreams i recommend that set instead but this is not bad for a dps noel amber is using four piece wanderer's troop and emblem for shangling but again they're not really being utilized here and they're not really fully leveled either so don't worry about that too much anyway i think we're good let's go Okay, so when the fight begins, you notice that I lose all my charging except for two. That goes for any level of box, so just be aware of that. You'll never be able to have more or less when you start the fight. So here, we're going to do a little bit of damage. It doesn't really matter. You can probably get some preemptive damage in, but the most it'll do is a little bit. And these animations don't actually hurt you, but it will knock you back, I think. But otherwise, it won't do any damage to you. So here, don't do what I did here, which is focus on the rock. Actually, go behind it a little bit, or... Stay in front of it and run forward to the edge of the arena because it'll do this conic thing if you're in front of it. So here you can see it burrow into the ground and watch the tail like flip upward. That's when you know to get to the edge of the arena here because you'll actually be sucked into this vortex which is very very difficult to get out of. It actually sucks ass. Don't actually get stuck in this or else you're going to have to tank it or perhaps die. <laughs> So here, after this particular attack, one or two things can happen. It'll do another attack, or it'll come in between two rocks like this, or the goop pools, and it'll start charging up like this. This is where you have to use the box. So here, you use one, and you walk over to the other side and use the other one. And this stuns it, and you're able to do a damage phase here. So here, I'm going to whip out Noel and start blasting him. Here, I'm just going to straight up blast it until it gets up. It usually lasts for around three weaves here. So this is the second one. This is the third one you see getting up. And now, it's going to grow back into the ground. I'm going to grab this rock to recharge my box, but otherwise, it's just going to do the same shit. So, I'm going to get behind it a little bit and see if I can... De okay, there we go. I can uh, abuse the AI a little bit and sort of make it go do that phase where I can get behind it and do a little bit of damage. But don't get too greedy, because otherwise, you might get sucked in or some shit like this. Because you saw that, the massive tail went into the uh, floor again and whipped up. That means it's going to the vortex, like I said before. We're going to patiently wait for this to end, because why would you go back in there, unless if you have some sort of vacuum fetish. And now, I think it's going to come up in between these two pools again. Yeah, there we go. And now, I'm going to use the little gadget and clean again. 
And boom. Another damage phase. So here I'm going to use my first activate Shaolin stuff and just sort of go ham with it. So right now I don't have enough energy, but again, this boss isn't very difficult. Just take your time and don't get greedy. So here, again, we're just going to straight up do a little bit more damage and stay behind it. So after all of the pools have been eliminated, you have to actually do it again. So it'll go into the ground and spawn more pools of goop. So just be aware of that. This is why maintaining your energy, at least the charges for your little gadget, is very important. Otherwise, you're probably going to have a really bad time. So here, it's probably going to charge toward me. I was very lucky I managed to iframe that, but most of the time, you actually will suffer about 1000 or 2000 damage. So be aware of that, yeah? So here, I'm just going to wait for it to go into the floor, okay, or I'd rather just charge up this, and I'm going to stun it again, and we're good. Rock, I'm going to use Noel and start blasting away, waiting for the shield to come back up for the double geo bonus. Any second now, there we go. A little bit more damage here. And it should be coming back up in the middle, and we were able to get it down for a little bit more, I think. Okay, so here he's going to do the Taconic move again. And I don't know actually why I'm wasting time here. All I need to do is finish it off here. Trick shot! Now when it comes to this fight, you actually can down it an other way, but it's not recommended. You can actually shoot weak spots that appear on the neck, and I'll show you that right now. But yeah, that's about it. My friend Sun Wei did a little quicker guide if you want to look at that one. But this one showcases just a few more moves and what happens when you have, well, bad gameplay, I suppose. And yeah, not much else to say. This boss is pretty simple, but you just have to practice and understand the moveset a little bit. And uh, yeah, here's how it looks like when you fight with a normal set of characters, I suppose. <laughs> Huh? 